speaking of this Brahms concerto, um, have you, okay, were you on the stage, somebody who worked for New York Phil for 48 years, 48 years, she said, um, Mr. Monroe was playing the Brahms double concerto at outdoor concerts and right next to a swimming pool one day. So in the middle of a performance, he l finished his right bow and his bow flew out and this is two cut, cut somebody's Stradivarius and the Stradivarius violin flew into a swimming pool. And whoever lost the Stradivarius, he's so calm, he just oh. picked the violin from the next door person and no nobody's no. Okay. It. Can you tell this me well <laughs> I can the story? Th th I think there are two stories going at the same time here. Okay, you were very, it's pretty accurate, except that this actually did happen not with me. It happened with my predecessor, Rodney Friend, playing the Brahms Double Concerto with Mr. Lauren Monroe. Monroe. And they was in a concert hall in Europe. Oh, wait. It was in Europe. It wasn't a, this is another story I'm going to tell you about the swimming pool. But the first <laughs> one is the Brahms Double and Mr. Monroe, who is very, very physical when he with plays. With yes. Very, very Beautiful. You know, active. and. His bow at the end of the cadenza, before <laughs> Mr. Friend had a chance to play in his entrance, he went oh, whoop like that, and his caught the violin on the scroll part. Oh. The bow caught the scroll, and the violin went leaping into the air into the audience. Oh, the audience! It went into the audience and was caught by somebody, but the scroll hit, and it damaged the tip of the the the, the top part of the violin a little bit. It was a Del Jesu violin. This is a very great violin. So they, he had to pick up another violin and then complete the performance, of course. But uh, meanwhile, he was worried, oh my God, my violin went flying in the air. What, what <laughs> condition is it in? It? And uh, you know, so this <laughs> other story you mentioned about the swimming pool is involved me, and I was in a trio Can playing you tell outdoors. Me what Where was this, in LA? Or? This was in Los Angeles, and we were playing <laughs> some sort of a very fancy reception, and we were playing a trio, string trio, and my colleagues. <laughs> It's very serious, and I went with one of these things, but my bow hit something and flew out of my hand into the swimming pool. It did went to the swimming pool. It went into the swimming pool. You both said, "I want to go bow. swimming." And Luckily, not my instrument, but my bow. Not that it's too much better, but it went flying, and oh my God. I was sitting there <laughs> making pizzicato, <laughs> plucking my strings until I, you know, with the end of the <laughs> movement, and then I went and got another bow. But it was. They were laughing so hard, what my colleagues. What were you performing? I think it was the Dachnani Serenade for Dachnani. strings. Very difficult piece, yes, especially yeah. to play without a bow. <laughs> <laughs> I can't a, a imagine. A problem. Did somebody, at that time, they don't have iPhone, but I then know. they put a record it and put it on but YouTube. It's, it's, it made history. And They'll break records. <laughs> nobody could forget that. You know, this is, just, I mean, the already <laughs> the more than 40 years ago that this happened, but I can't, how can I forget that?